whole lot of plot drop last episode and the world is expanding. I truly do believe when people say that this is the one piece of webtoons, the whole family background of Kun and how his relationship with Maria and his, you know, actual sister, the princess of Zahad, you know, fucking succession thing went, you know, down the hill. And then, you know, the, the door test with like Rack just like Giga Chat instinct while Kun was hesitated. Then you guys, she was just like figuring it out. Then we get into the crown game. And I'm starting to realize that a lot of these tests, these games, they're very intricate. It's not just like go there and fight and done. It's like, nah, there's like this rule. And if this happens, this could happen. And all of these things, it's actually pretty goddamn entertaining. I think that we left off with Anna Katz and Shibisu's team taking the crown. And Rachel is here hiding as usual. Will we find her today? Let's begin today's reaction. No. <laughs> that was funny. Look at Bomb's eyes. They went from a dot to actual eye here. Can you guys, can you guys see that? Can you guys see this? I don't know. I, 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 that's, 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 that's funny to me. No. Her name is Rachel, goddammit. Pronounce the C, goddammit. Why ain't nobody pronouncing the C? What? It is her, though. Oh, this is even worse than I thought. Because he thinks it's not her. Because in his mind, she would, no matter what, be willing to reciprocate the feelings and say, BAM! Back! But, like, we know Rachel's intentionally trying to cut him away and, like, move on, right? This is even worse, bro. Holy shit. Simp bomb right over here. An incel Kun. Kun needs to, you know, radicalize Bomb and say, you don't need these hoes, man. Incel revolution. Fuck him, girls. Maria fucked me, and then I fucked her. Let her go. What, 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 what? I... I've never seen someone be so proud. I've never seen someone so proud to say I as the weakest member. <laughs> I think Anak's stronger than Hutz. I think Anak is stronger than Hutz. Okay, no swapping allowed. Yeah, he's a literate gator. Bam will only go in if Rachel goes in, right? So who will go in next? Hats <laughs> believed it. Hats fucking believed the killing art. I'm not sure if he's being sarcastic here to make fun of him or if he genuinely believed it. <laughs> yeah, remember? <laughs> Come on, Bruce Lee. Yeah, he did, I guess. Hot is a good guy. A little naive, I guess, but like, genuinely good guy, maybe. Hot Shibisu ship. No. Not yet, not yet. We gotta wait. Who's showing up next? Damn! Gator's learning! Rack was like, nah, I'm just gonna take your order. I'm a fucking bargain. You give me 10 fucking Snickers for this and I say yes. Zero. Who's coming in? Lore team. Oh, shit. We can have the two ships fighting, bro. We can have Serena and Shibisu fight each other, too. <laughs> oh, more groups, more groups, actually. I don't know any of these dudes. Two baldies and a mushroom head. <laughs> I mean, they kind of like high five or something, right? <laughs> he's sleeping. I don't think he's getting up for this shit. What? Did they drag him out here? If he was sleeping the entire time, did they actually drag him out into the stage? I guess they did. I mean, you can't run if you die, but okay. Damn! 
What a line, man. A lame man can be persistent. Don't underestimate me. That is a fucking line for the casual normies, dude. Representing every jobber character. What up in the air? No, he's knee to you. Anak's still sleeping. Ooh. What the fuck is that flying sword? Is he controlling it? That wasn't luck, right? I think he is controlling it, maybe. Oh, the time has come to use my super inferno punch. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is it real? I am I supposed to be scared of this? He's talking like this is a secret technique he's been saving the entire time. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> he does have killing arts. <laughs> Yo, he, he, he does have killing arts. <laughs> True gender um, equalism, a proponent here, man. Uh, an ally of Cosma and Mash from, you know, Mash Lake, Magic and Muscle. You gotta fucking hit the women too if you're gonna hit the men. Equal rights means equal left. <laughs> He's 2v1ing! What? How? How is he winning a 1v2? What? Maybe, maybe these two aren't that impressive? He's doing it though! He's fucking doing it though! <laughs> Holy shit, the killer <laughs> art wasn't a lie? It wasn't a lie? <laughs> Come on. Gender equality. <laughs> Not only is he 1v2, he's also rizzing her at the fucking same time. <laughs> this is a shit. Okay, this, this fucking nosebleed. Do you think the nosebleed is from the physical impact of the attacks? Or do you think that he rizzed her here so hard that she started to have a nosebleed? In my head canon, it's the rizz. Pro provoking them. Yeah, making them mad. Laura is actually not gonna do shit. <laughs> Mr. Ordinary. <laughs> Shibisu! Yo, Yo, Anak can't help! Who did that? Hatsurana. Ah, Hats, let's go! Our teammate! Yo, Hats is actually so cool. Oh, they're done. What the fuck did happen to the Super Inferno Punch? Bro, he had a whole moment. He's like, hmm, is it time? <laughs> to reveal my super inferno punt. <laughs> off screen. <laughs> Fucking off screen baited. <laughs> Yo, Shibisu Hachi is a real ship. <laughs> Bam Kun or Shibisu Hats. That's a that's a fucking tough ship to fucking beat. <laughs> yeah, Laura, he hasn't moved. He hasn't moved yet. Huh? Is, it, is, it, is this his plan? He's the one so that's participating in this round. He's still sleeping. So we're getting baited right now. He is intentionally snoozing. And then he's going to now clutch. Why would he say that and start huh? sleeping? No, but he might if he acts sleeping. Well, at least in this round. This is so weird. Captain Irwin, Jotaro Kujo, it's, it's his voice actor. It, I don't know, it's just <laughs> hearing the voice come out of <laughs> yare, yare. That's right, so it's better to wait till the end. Exactly. Holy shit, I can do it. Yo, he can take out a princess Zod? Really? Okay, I believe you, Lore. You've been sleeping the entire time. Four fucking episodes of the bro still sleeping? He's saying, nah, I'll win. The bait? Bro was sleeping the entire time to bait everybody? Wave controller? Kamehameha beam! 
So I guess it's super rare right now. Someone who could use Shinsu was hiding among us. He's a wave splitter? What is wave controller? There's like different classes or some shit? And like being able to use Shinsu right now is obviously super, super rare because this is the early game where nobody really knows how to apply Shinsu, but this guy does. <laughs> That's our cutie. Black March is roaring. It's gotta be something about being near a 13 series, right? Because like Black March was also roaring before. It was almost like resonating when it met this like fucking green. What is this? Green February? Green January? Green December? Right? Her, her whip, right? There was like a connection between all the swords. Wait, why is she doing this pose? I feel like Arak's about to fucking pop off. Maybe Laura's talking too big. <laughs> she can make it! Okay. Because, like, obviously, Yuri Zahad couldn't activate. Ignite her Black Marts. Anna can? We haven't seen a true form yet, yeah? This is the true moment. I don't know. What is the sword name? I thought that at least a sleeping bag would go away. He still like fights in the sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I think we underestimated her. You're not gonna disqualify her, right? No, no, no. This is loud. Is it? An ignition weapon. 13 series. Unless 13 series is a subset of ignition weapons and there's other weapons that can ignite it. Maybe that's not even the 13 series. Maybe it's, no, it had the three eyes of Zahad. It wants to fight. <laughs> Out of context, anime frames with him just like, you know, moving like this. It's acting strange. I don't know what's going on. It's acting strange. <laughs> what's acting strange, bum? Yo, Black Marth wants to fight! And her sword's also resonating. <laughs> we're going back home. We're fucked. We're giving up. I've run away a hundred thousand times, so I know when I'm screwed. Well, I guess it's a hundred thousand and one now. Hey, at least, you know, Mrs. Ordinary here. Sorry, not Mrs. Just yet. You know, Shibisu is Mr., so they're gonna get eloped later on. But Miss Ordinary here, at least she knows her limits. Alright, they're giving up. Fair, I guess. That sword is insane. <laughs> we? No, Kun, it's getting hard. Help. It's painful. Oh, shit. That thing twitching. Oh, my goodness. It's just moving, bro. Oh, they fucking lost. If you're off the throne, you're gone. Did Anak literally just give up the game because of her own desires to meet the Black March? Wait, 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 you can't leave the throne! I guess this matters more to her. Uh, Leroro, can you stop this? Referee? Anybody? That's a crazy person! Damn! You gave it to us, I thought we were worthy! Is she be the one that's gonna defuse this? I don't think Shibisu knows. Oh. Does Shibisu not know what a 13 series is? She does know. He, he just didn't see it because it was, you know, covered in the, in the, in the garb or whatnot. But what's, it, what's this called? One of 13 minutes in your That's a Graftmanship Asho Eduaru. We've heard this name before, I think. Yeah. Eduaru. Yep. Because I have one too. That's so weird how, you know, there's 12 months, but this is the 13 month series. So at one point, they're either going to make up a month that only exists in this tower because they operate under a different calendar, or maybe there will be a, like a copy of a month, right? Because right now, no, there's 13. Right now, we have March and April, right? There should be 10 other months, but. Plus one, 13. There's an offset. 
this girl too, right? That girl's been looking at Anak the entire time last episode too. Yuri is odd. <laughs> Finally! Yo, referee, where you at? That's a ranker for you, man. What? You want to bet the swords? Okay, we got a little bet coming in. Survive as in live or die? You mean like beat the game, right? The fuck? Why is she collecting? Because she thinks it's unworthy of him to have it. What? You're so mean! Yo, she's so mean! I mean, imagine Bum like dual wielding both Black March and Green April, like dual Ignite. Is that even possible? He didn't even take the bet? Do you think God? Oh shit, he's gonna take the bait. He took the bait. <laughs> All right, fresh new group going in. Round three. This girl, dude, she's so obsessed. I can't read Thai Sugma. What did she say? I can't lip read Japanese. What the fuck did she say? These nuts. Fuck you, got them. They have some beef, man. That's a very common voice actor. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because she's got her voice so high pitched and it sounds like Sparkle from uh, Honkai Star. Who is this? That laugh. Sounds like Kurumi's laugh right here, right? It kind of sounds like Kurumi's laugh right here. Yeah. She called her an imposter. Anax an imposter? Impost... Fake? Zahad Princess? That's what she's implying here, right? You are an imposter. You are a fake prince. She is a lizard. <laughs> I mean, she is a lizard, right? Then again, maybe the, I, I doubt Zahad, you know, king, you know, discriminates on like species or things. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Rachel's still saying nothing, bro. Rachel's staying real quiet. Is he? Never betray anyone, no matter what happens, especially not girls. Toxic as fuck. Toxic as fuck. Gaslighting us. Don't you dare betray anyone. He just, she's like indoctrinating him to be like the perfect fucking simp, right? Never betray anyone, especially not girls. No, I'll especially betray girls because of you, Rachel. Betraying a girl is the same as making an enemy of the entire world. That sounds very sexist and kind of, you know, very old style fashion to me. That's not very progressive, Rachel. I'll fucking slap a bitch. I mean, what? She's free to betray us, as in just leave us, but we can't betray her? Fuck this bitch, bro. The more I get Rachel, the more upset I get, even though she hasn't done anything but leave us. But it's just like, I don't know. I don't have a good feeling about this setup, especially because of the parallels between Kun and Maria and Bomb and Rachel, right? It just feels like Kun will be the savior to prevent Bomb from experiencing the same type of betrayal that Maria gave to Kun. So maybe Rachel will do the same shit to Bomb? We and then Bomb is such a simp, he can't even recognize it? Is that why people are fucking mad at this character, calling him such a fucking simp? Maria. <laughs> Thanks. He's speaking from actual experience too, from his past. Yeah, fuck Rachel, man. <laughs> She's probably gonna get, you know, fodderized though, right? It's a nice design, but is she gonna last long? The guy on the fucking left has a literal target on his belly. What are you doing, bro? Zoro! Yo! 
Zoro is fucking moving finally. Oh shit, it's Zoro and Gara. Gara of the Sand, right over here. Santoryu, Pirate Hunter Zoro and Gara of the Sand. <laughs> you have a rubbery body? Mugiwara no Luffy? You got Zoro here. That can't be a fucking coincidence, right? There is no shot this is a coincidence. That this dude's saying, I got a powers of rubber, and then you got Zoro right beside. <laughs> Who the fuck can use a- Was that Rack? Kun? Who was that? Why is he so cool? What the fuck? Who was that? Yo, yo, yo! What was that attack? Wait! Did he pull something out of his bag? Because I see this tornado-like attack, which I don't think is Shinsu. Because it's not water-like. But he just a- It's got to be something in the bag. Is that this knife power? It's either something new in the bag, or this knife is cracked? God damn, dude, he's so cool, though. No, no, no. Put the crown in the bag! He could have, could he have done this with Lori's attack too? The bag is like an infinite bag, can just suck everything, defense. It just does everything. Oh shit, what? Oh my god. Dude, why is he so cool? Oh, he just has such, just the, the style, the way he just throws the crown on the ground, sits on the throne, cross-legged, says, Go fight amongst yourself, peasants. This dude was born royalty, yeah? Oh, wait, Gara's attack was actually not, you know, okay, okay. He looked like Gara, but he does use, like, a big balloon attack. What is this? Alright, squirrel thing. What are you gonna do with your hyper fast jumps? <laughs> Nothing. What? Don't tell me it was a fake crown. Don't- Wait! Wait, was that, was that a fake crown? He had a real crown? Did the bag just came up with a fake crown? And that's a real crown? And then bomb got put in the throat? What? When? When the fuck what? What can the bag not do? Yeah, Rock hasn't done anything yet. Miss Heels, Rachel, and Big Boy. Even Bum? Rachel, your answer right now will determine your kid. Fuck you, fuck you. I hate her, I hate her, I hate her, I hate her, I hate her. Even with him there, she allowed her to kill everybody. I don't care whether or not it's possible or not, but the fact that she accepted that, terrible, terrible woman, dude. Holy shit. So far, it's been, the show has been very intricate in how little of they show Rachel. But clearly, they've been positioning her to be like an antagonist, to be someone that's very hateable. And this single line right here pretty much confirms all of the suspicions. Worst fucking girl of the show. L. Fuck you, Rachel. And that's the episode. And I'm even mad that the ending even has a directed fucking scene for Rachel, dude. This ending visuals is even worse. I'm getting more fucking mad that Rachel has a dedicated fucking ending, bro. Fuck, she sucks, dude. Oh my god! Ignoring that bitch! The rest of the episode was fucking peak. Yo, this crown war, you know, this crown game episodes, dude, it is actually getting so good. So what did we learn today? We learned that Shimizu can actually use killing arts. Bro 1v2 and 1 while rising up Serena at the same time. Serena Shimizu or Shimizu Hots? I don't know, but their dynamics are getting more and more fond of each other. You know, more almost like friends, kind of acquaintances. But even the fact that Anak would listen to Shibisu when Anak was ready to like kill Bomb Man, that was pretty cool. That Shibisu was able to kind of like defuse the situation because he's a fucking goat. Hots also showed a lot more sword skills today, kind of showed me that he is the real deal. Lore though, this dude, one of the few people or one of the only people that can actually use Shinsu. The other girl is getting carried by her item, but this dude is the real deal. He's a wave controller. I don't know what that really means, but this guy is different. And he's been, you know, 
<laughs> baiting everybody by napping the entire time and hoping that people's cards would be down, which is pretty brilliant, I guess. Anax Green April. So you, obviously you can ignite. It turns into just like a huge fucking whip. Instead of a single whip, it's multiples. And it's probably smart that they ran away. I wonder if Laura could have any done anything more to that. Probably not. They even said using an ignition weapon is not fair. Anna looked really sick this episode. Now, she's not really uh, calm at all. She was ready to, like, kill Bum and take Green April. Sorry, Black March. Why? Because the Zahad Swords, the Blades, 13-month series, they're... Like, you're not worthy for it. That's what Bum said. Which is really interesting, because the other girl in the hood called Anna an imposter. An imposter of what? An imposter of Zahad Princess. Which is then really ironic that Anak, the imposter princess, would say that you are unworthy when she's an imposter. I don't know. There's, there's a lot to break down here. The promise between Anak and Bam, right? We gotta stay there till the end or else we're gonna, like, lose Black Barts. That fucking sucks. And then aside from that, the rest of it was just hard carry by Kun, man. Showing us such a cold, conniving, charismatic dude. So smooth. Kind of hard getting hard carried by the bag, but do the mannerisms, the fucking big brain to use a fake crown, which was I guess made within the bag, so the bag can just create any object like that. Crossing his legs, saying "fight amongst yourselves, plebs." He is so fucking cool. And yes, Rachel is fucking worst girl. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time. Take care.